evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Friday, 19th November, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, Amadon stars in practice match, and in our feature for this evening, Tajane dominates DSS Junior Girls Cross Country. We'll take this break, and I'll be right back. Travel has become an essential part of our daily lives. We look forward to our annual leave so that we can go to that exotic destination we dream about all year. Even though we have to deal with heavy security guidelines and restrictions, this has never hampered our ability or desire to move around. Today, COVID-19 has placed major restrictions and protocols on how we approach travel. I still wish to travel, and I'm sure many people out there still wish to travel. However, it is our duty to be responsible while traveling. Practice safety guidelines at home and during your travels so that we all can remain safe. A safer Nevis depends on you. Cheers. Well, I'm back and we start with cricket. Justin Armadon from Nevis was the ultimate star as the West Indies under-19 players commenced their final round of practice matches prior to selecting the squad for the upcoming under-19 World Cup to be played in the Caribbean between January and February of next year. The 50-overs encounter was played at the Coolidge Cricket Grounds in Antigua on Thursday and Armadon stroked a cultured 77, batting for two and a half hours and hitting eight boundaries. He was part of a century opening stand with Shaq Paris, who got to 42, before he was smartly stumped by Carlon Bowen Stuckett. Teddy Bishop also scored a runner ball, 40. Matthew Nando was the pick of the bowlers, bagging three for 20 in the process. Judge Giovante, the pizza led team, got to 212 for four, will make that 214 for four in 43.4 overs in chase of 212 all-out made by the Akim August team. The August 11 was in bales of trouble at 118 for eight, but Edwards and Mahes teamed up in an enterprising and face-saving partnership to take them to the eventual total of 212, with Mahes 61 not out at the end and Edwards getting 22. The next game is set for Monday, 22nd November at the same venue. Sticking with cricket, and we have the updated schedule for the ICC Men's Under-19 Cricket World Cup slated for the Caribbean starting in January. January the 14th, West Indies takes on Australia in Guyana, and Sri Lanka takes on Scotland also in Guyana. January the 15th, Canada takes on the UAE at Connery in St. Kitts, India takes on South Africa in Guyana. Ireland takes on Uganda in Guyana. Pakistan takes on PNG in Trinidad. January 16th, Bangladesh versus England at Warner Park, St. Kitts. Afghanistan versus Zimbabwe in Trinidad. January 17th, West Indies versus Scotland at Warner Park, St. Kitts. Australia versus Sri Lanka at Connery in St. Kitts. January 18th, England versus Canada at Warner Park in St. Kitts. South Africa versus Uganda at Queen's Park Oval, Trinidad. Afghanistan versus PNG at Diego Martin in Trinidad. January 19th, Australia versus Scotland at Connery in St. Kitts. India versus Ireland at the Brian Lara Cricket Ground in Trinidad. January 20th, England versus UAE at Warner Park, St. Kitts. Bangladesh versus Canada at Connery, St. Kitts. Pakistan versus Afghanistan at the Brian Lara Cricket Ground in Trinidad and Zimbabwe takes on PNG at the Diego Martin in Trinidad. January 21st, West Indies takes on Sri Lanka at Connery in St. Kitts, South Africa versus Ireland at the Brian Lara Cricket Ground in Trinidad. 
January 22nd, Bangladesh versus the UAE at Warner Park St. Kitts. India versus Uganda at the Brian Lara Cricket Ground, Trinidad. Pakistan versus Zimbabwe at Queen's Park Oval in Trinidad. Then we'll have the Plate and Super League fixtures to take place between January 26th and February 4th at the Sir Vivian Richards Cricket Ground and Coolidge Cricket Grounds in Antigua, Barbuda, and the Brian Lara Cricket Ground at Queen's Park and Queen's Park Oval in Trinidad. February 1st, the semifinals, the first one at the Sir Vivian Richards Cricket Ground. February 2nd, the second semifinal at the Coolidge Cricket Ground, that's in Antigua. And February 5th, the grand finals at the Sir Vivian Richards Cricket Grounds in Antigua. We hope that the West Indies boys and four Nivisions will be a part of that finals. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Taxes are the lifeblood of a nation. Feel good about what your tax dollars do in Nevis. As a responsible citizen, your tax dollars protect our environment. Pay your taxes on time. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Well, I'm back and tonight athletics is in the spotlight. Tajane Wilkin was dominant as the Gingerland Secondary School hosted its cross-country events for 2021. The first race up was the Junior Girls Cross Country that was on Thursday and quite a number of students participated. The route commenced in the vicinity of Best Buy Supermarket, making a left turn by the Gingerland Police Station, heading up Hard Times Road, left by William Archibald's premises, left through Old Manor, back onto the main road and climaxing at the school. Tajane ran a smart race. She held back in the opening moments, then took the lead in the Hard Times Hill and never looked back. The top places were first, Tajane Wilkin, second, Tashela Hendrickson, third, Nyla Taylor, fourth, Kimisha Bartlett, and fifth, Moriah Daniel. We say congratulations to the top places. But we go now to the Gingerland Secondary School and we pick up some of the action. Well, today is the 18th of November and the Gingerland Secondary School will be hosting their cross-country events today. We're going to start with the junior girls, so they're about to get started. And uh, as per usual, I have to say thanks to Joseph Leibard, uh, my longtime schoolmate and friend, who has agreed to take us around today as well. Um, he has done that for many years. Maybe Joseph can tell me how many years, about 40? I, I Maybe less than that. Okay. You say 40 make me sound old? <laughs> Well, uh, let's see what this works out to be. Should be starting very soon. But I can tell you that we have a lot of interested spectators already lining the sidewalks. And uh, they get a, uh, we just got a signal. They're about to start. Just about to start. Any moment now. And... Uh, Normally they start with a rush and then there's a separation of the boy, well the girls from the women as you can see who are serious about it and those who are not. So they are off and running. Off and running folks. And we already see one of them pushing out, looking as if she is really serious about this. Now the point is, how long can she keep up this pace? Uh, like what he's saying, as far as the police station go, Libby, because they're closing in on us a bit when it make that slow turn. So, well, she's already slowing up and looking back. She didn't even quite make it to the police station with that pace. Somebody else is alongside her now. And the real test is going to be going up the Hard Times Road, where we are approaching now. And uh, push like it. So now this is the real test. She says, Oh, me amo. What does that mean? That she's already burnt out. I think that Omiyamo is an exclamation that wait, I have to run this hill. She has started to walk. All of them basically have started to walk. But the one in green, she's a little bit more determined, a little bit of a charge. We have one in white making a move here now. 
Uh, maybe Cameron right. can give me a couple of names. He's also a long time. The one in front in black looks yeah, okay. pretty serious. Yeah, What's her name? Um, she's at EPPS. She's one of the top distance runners. From the EPPS, one of the previous top athletes. What's her name? I can't remember her. Okay, the name we can't remember, but formerly of the EPPS. So, Adelvin Philip, if he's not watching this, um, should be pretty proud. Um, this is one of his um, former athletes. Um, some of the parents and teachers already getting into the acts, already lying in the road, already giving encouragement. So, yeah, back into the slow procession. Watch out for Miss Hendrickson as well. There's a Hendrickson in what? Face. In blue? In black. In black. So we are told to look out for Hendrickson in black, but she's walking push livey. She's pretty much on top of us now. The EPPS athlete. Red, she's on too. And so Red House um, supporters would be pretty happy. Now we have a little bit of a uh, bit of bad news to share. It's pretty overcast. I'm predicting that these young ladies are gonna get a bit soaked well, that's, that's before good, they get back. Them. That's better for them. Well, I be saying that's good news. That's good news. So we'll wait and see. You know. it also. Once it's not too hot and all they get the little this girl has to do is to make rain. And then nobody could get you again. Well, if she can make it up as far as William Archibald's residence, um, and she's still in the lead, or we're told by Cameron to look out for Hendrickson. Um, Hendrickson hasn't made a move as yet. She's still in third place but walking. So looking back is the leader for now. She I think is carrying number seven. And she has no intention of coming in number seven as she comes close to us once more. She's very determined, I can tell you that. She's blowing pretty hard but um, this zigzag thingy that Libra doesn't like. She, she was taught about that as well. So she's also doing the little zigzag thingy. And Libra is convinced that when you do that crossways thing running up the hill, you're using more space, using more time instead of running straight and energy as well. But I could tell you that Hendrickson is still in the mix. She's alongside. Um, another oh. athlete, the two of them prob probably pretty good friends. A girl from so, she's still in the lead. Is this um, former EPPS athlete? Who? Oh, daughter? And. Uh, Has he so, oh, we understand that this could be the daughter of Tazik Bartlett, who was a top um, national yeah. athlete. Yeah. We just read why they worrying. Oh, she's afraid of the dog. Um, <laughs> dog is on. She really was scared. She, 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 she was run. going far. Well, she might have run back, <laughs> which wouldn't have been good for her. She she looked more intent than running back. Um, she was really scared. I was wondering why uh, until I saw the dog. And so she's just made a little exclamation as if she's in some pain. Still looking back, trying to figure out where her. Um, the, her other, um, where the other athletes are at. So, we have a bus that wants to pass, and um, I think he would realize that we are covering the event, but he's going to get past. The athlete is coming. I tell you this much once she gets as far as William Archibald and still hold this very impressive lead. And there's no way anybody's gonna catch her before she gets back to the Gingerland Secondary School. That's a good lead. So this is a very good lead. And she, despite the exclamation of pain a while ago, and still that grimace just now, she has such a lead that I don't think she has to worry really. But right now she can't see the others. Um, so she wouldn't know if they're closing the gap on the corner there, but I don't think so. And she's um, walking for the moment, and uh, now she's, supposed to have she's one, two, running now, one, two, three, trying to get to the top. Labor is saying that once she gets to the top, running, then that first place is secure. Maybe even a record because after that is pretty much downhill. Yeah, but no, we can chase up too much in this. Place. Okay, Labor is saying record is um, really out of it. It's so much walking. 
record you would have needed to be doing more running than walking I assume so this is how it works for now somebody is saying breathe in and out I wonder if she was breathing up and down before <laughs> so you know it's nice to hear all of, of the coaches as they give the advice from their homes from the from the sidewalks etc somebody is giving us some encouragement to run and she's running well that's Hendrickson yes. Cameron yes, well, Hendrickson has showed up in the corner down there so we did hear that we should be looking for camera for well, some of them some of the supporters trying to hide from the camera but they're right into it the Rollins folks somehow they got the news that the cross country was on Okay, Hendrickson and Taylor coming up now. Well, we understand that Hendrickson and Taylor coming up. But, um, so they're encouraging the leader, telling her, Wait, watch here, this girl Hendrickson is coming for you. So it might be a ding-dong battle on the final stretch. But she still has a pretty impressive lead. The question is, can she hold on to it? It's all about flat and downhill from here. No more uphills. So, can she do it? As we go past the famous Nathan Sutton's residence he was buried just yesterday and then past the famous Hannah Allen's residence she was buried um, what about a year or two ago and uh, she is walking Libby? yeah walking is probably not recommended on this flat area so maybe she should be thinking about running and then this is a bit of a slope this is downhill now still walking she hasn't been training this oh, Cameron for the is saying yet. she hasn't been training really. So just getting into it for the season. Now she's running. Where is Hendrickson? Will we have a tight one? Or will it be a foregone conclusion? She the way So here she comes. And more, more um, support from some of the onlookers. As she comes down the hill. Really overcast now. Looks as if the rain is going to pour down in a bit. But um, she is really looking good now. Coming down hill by again Rollins has a lot of famous folks um, just past David Freeman's um, former residence where okay. we used to live David Freeman and we're to come to know give it, give it a top to which they just give it on the trip. island so she's still large and in charge for the moment but tired and gonna walk some more well, you can't walk so yet. She is really struggling. Well, as Cameron indicated, she hasn't been training, so. Even a train, she um, can walk from there. So. She can walk down here. Walking, she is, she is walking. But she is still in front by a long stretch. Anybody catching her today would be a virtual miracle. Well, she's running now. So we have to push out a bit because she's right on us. We don't want to uh, be any hold up for her. We'll show you glad we hold up. <laughs> so here she is, closing in us now. Looking pretty strong now. Looks more determined now. Just the look on her there's face. Yeah, there's a little bit of a determined look on her face. She don't want to give it. It's a bit of a drizzle now. She knows that it's not too far really. But she's doing pretty well looks as if she's planning to stop again though after and the drizzle is on her so she's getting wet the question is well I guess this will work out something like football yeah. if the rain is falling you don't start the race but once the rain once the race has started I guess okay. you the, just the, have to continue the rain is good man the rain will cool her down well the rain will cool her down says Levy so there's stupidity here about Pole and catch pole and track and all nonsense. Okay, so coming down 
pretty slow. Well, the teachers were prepared for the weather. They have their umbrellas out. So still leading by a long shot. Mr. Morton in blue would be looking for his Blue House athletes. He's a blue stalwart. But I'm not seeing any blue as yet. It's all about this Red House athlete. I wonder if David didn't know about his wife. Yeah, well, David Grant uh, is on another mission, really. So I don't think he'll be free today. So the rain has increased. And uh, maybe her pace would increase as well. We'll wait and see. But she's yeah, coming downhill. No signs of Hendrickson. No signs of anybody else. So it looks as if we have a clear cut winner here. Yeah, from, from the corn mill she. Well, I, I wonder what's happening to the person, the young lady who started out with that impressive lead at the start. <laughs> like I said, she's probably sheltering from the rain. So here comes the leader. For now, we'll say young Bartlett. Because we understand that it could be Tassie Bartlett's daughter. So former EPPS top athlete. Tejani. Tejani, we understand, could be the name. So Tejani. And she looks as if um, she's really tired though. She's walking again. But um, if you're not training and you're still leading like this, well, imagine when you start to really train. Um, so. I think she's enjoying a little bit of rain, wiping her face in the process. It's going to keep her cool. And with nobody um, close by, and she's taking this red thing very serious. It's even red shoes. I just noticed that. So she's on Red House. She's That's wearing your, that, red that shoes. House. Yeah, that was my house. Lightbird was on green. We had many epic battles in our day, cross country. That's true. Especially with a gentleman by the name of Archer Barrett. Oh, we gave him some good runs in our day. But that was many moons ago. But he was always first. Yeah, he was always first. No matter what we tried. We tried to burn him out. We did all kind of little tricks. He just was that good. Or we were not good enough. Well, I guess that too. <laughs> so here's um, Ted Janik starting to run once more. Once again, she looks calm. She knows that once she hits market shop, the school would be pretty much in her sights. And there's nobody in view behind her for the moment. So I think we can call this, like they call some elections early, we could call this one very early. And those not him. Uh, oh, my is stopping it. So, coming to Wait, how am I fast old manner. Running almost what carefully for the moment. What do you want to say? Oh, um, no problem, I'm going to use the recording. The recording. If yeah, if somebody uh, was closer, would have been pretty interesting. She's right on us now. Well, she has entered the main road now, and this is like the final stretch. Downhill. Looking pretty strong. She knows that she is almost home. The strides have increased in a deliberate pattern. She looks like a champion. She is really taking the road as if it's her own. There's a round of applause from some spectators here at Market Shop. As even the bakers seize from their baking. Watch him, please. Watch goes up. There's a Delvin Phillip. He remembers his former athlete. He has come to support her. 
and he had just told her to push, push to the finish. Loud shouts as we hear the shouts starting up here <laughs> um, by the Ginger and Secondary School teachers and supporters, students, etc. They are here. Tejonique, large and in charge. We are still not seeing anybody anywhere close to her. The supporters are out in their numbers. Well, here it goes. Here it goes. Champion. And her mom is here. Yeah, she's in. So her mom is very much here present. We'll be very happy with that result.
Well, that's our package for this evening and indeed for the week. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and the sacrifice. Have a good night and a safe weekend. <laughs>